with that key. Wednesday. I was completely screwed up today. I thought it was Tuesday, but it is in fact Wednesday, of course. So we are doing our 30 minute workout, tracking how many rounds you can get through. And <clears throat> you're going to need the, uh, the dice again today because we're doing the same type of setup i'm gonna lower this just because a lot of the stuff is gonna be down on the floor so how's it gonna work if you missed yesterday's workout on the left side this is gonna be consistent all the way through so we're gonna start off with four reps then we're gonna go to eight 12 16 and 20. so you're just going up by four every time once you get done with 20 and 20, then you're gonna restart back to the four reps. So this one's gonna stay consistent. You're going wide push-ups, so hands out wide, then narrow push-ups, elbows in, then wide, then narrow, then wide. So you're just gonna switch off that elbow positioning. Make sure you get all the way to the floor. I'd like to see hand lift push-ups on these. So down, lift, and push. So hands out wide for the wides, narrow, elbows in, right next to the rib cage, and push. For the narrows, you don't have to lift the hands, but try and get the chest all the way to the floor. So again, make sure that the elbow positioning is correct. <clears throat> so you're just gonna increase. If you wanna challenge yourself, you can always elevate the feet. So I have the Bosu here or the tire, you can put your feet up if you wanna make it harder. So when you're starting off, you're gonna do the four push-ups. You're gonna roll the dice. And whenever the dice lands on, you're gonna pair the four reps with the wide push-ups to four reps of whatever you roll. So I'm just gonna go through them one through six, but let's just say you roll the one first, then you're gonna do, you're gonna do four pencil sit-ups with two twists. So for those, I like using a slam ball, but you can for sure just use dumbbells. That's totally fine. So you're gonna extend the legs, keep the shoes off the floor, hands go up above, tap the floor above the head. Then you're gonna sit it up nice and controlled, and then you're gonna one and two, and that counts as one. Fully extend. Sit up, control, tap on the right, tap on the left. So each one of those counts as one. You're doing that one up to four. Obviously, if you roll a one first. The second one, straight leg swings. So for this one, we've been doing this one for several months now on these videos. So I wanna see you challenge yourself. Put a dumbbell between your shoes. Keep the legs straight. Stop right above the floor without touching. Then you're going up. Pull the hips off the floor. Control on the way down. Up, pull the hips off the ground. So again, make sure the legs stay straight. Don't bend the knees. A lot of people like to bend the knees on this one. that's going to be number two. Number three, we're going right and left. So whatever, whatever one you're on, even if you're on like 16, you have to do 16 on the right, 16 on the left. So you're not just chopping the number in half. You have to do the full number for both right and left. So thread the needle, you go on the elbow, you're gonna start on the side of the shoes, hands up. Then you're gonna to rotate to the toes. You're gonna to rotate the belly button to the floor, curl the hand under. That's the thread the needle part. Then back to the side of the shoes, 
hand comes up. Again, to the toes, curl it under, back to the side of the shoes, and up. Once you get whatever number you're going for on the right elbow, you can do the same amount on the left, doing the same thing. So for number four, I like to use sliders on these. You don't have to. So you're gonna be on the elbows. I'll do this one at kind of an angle. So you're gonna tuck, extend, and then the feet are gonna go out and back together. And that's one. Tuck, plank, jack, that's two. You're doing that combo for as many reps as you roll. Number five, oblique V-up. So this one, you're gonna lay it down, hand goes up, feet are fully extended, sorry, legs are fully extended. Then you're gonna pull them back off the ground you're gonna lift the shoes up as high as you can, and you're gonna to touch, hold it for one, two, and extend. Down, up, one, two. Keep the legs straight, pull the back off the ground, touch your shoes, hold it for a two second hold, and you're gonna do whatever the reps are, do that amount of reps on the right elbow, you do the same amount of reps on the left elbow. So make sure you get both. Don't just chop the number in half. Make sure you get both. The last one. You're gonna need a set of dumbbells for this one. So you're gonna be seated. You're gonna do two cross jabs. So cross with the right, cross with the left, and then both hands together you're gonna press, and that's one. Right, left, and press. So make sure you fully extend the arms, get a full twist with that cross jab, right, left, and then a press with both hands together, fully extend it up. So that's what you're gonna pair with the push-ups. So go through as many rounds as you can, roll the dice each time, and that'll determine what you're doing on the right hand side. So obviously everybody's workout's gonna be a little bit different, but hopefully you get through quite a few of, of the ones on the right. And then push-ups, make sure the form is good. Wides, I wanna see the hand lift. Narrows, I want the elbows right next to the rib cage. So really work on form, 30 minutes on the clock, and uh, do the best you can with this one. Have an awesome workout. Uh, Zoom schedule is consistent this week outside workout uh, we're going at 4 30 p.m today tomorrow friday and then we're doing 5 45 a.m on thursday and friday so tomorrow and friday uh, and then weekend depending on weather should be okay uh, so 10 30 a.m for saturday and sunday so hope to see everyone soon um, have an awesome workout enjoy it and we'll see you next time